guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 21 and 22 of Magical Girl Lyrical Nano Hush Strike Coach BTW, just as I said in the socket videos. Um, as of now, it's now 2.43 in the morning. Um, I was supposed to do this yesterday because it is now Saturday for me. I came home, I ate, was gonna do it. Took a break because I got off of work and then I ate my dinner and I fell asleep. I was super tired and I just literally woke up an hour ago as of now. Um, so I am like kind of rushing. So if you just see me yawn more than I normally do and everything, just know I am very sleepy and such. But when I woke up, I was like, oh shit, I need to get up and I need to get this done. Before I can kind of go back to sleep for the second time. Because there's a, there was a lot of things I was supposed to do yesterday. that Because I went to sleep and I took a nap. I'm now doing it at 2 o'clock in the morning. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 21. In 3, 2, 1, go. Uh. again my son <laughs> finally once again because it feels like forever since we last saw him oh my god oh very
I hope so. I mean, but it's fate we're talking about. God dang, I wish I had one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of course, see, we're going to go against his sister. We all know it. We saw it in last week's preview. Oh, that felt weird.
And then these two. Just standing there menacingly. See, that's what they wanted, though. To separate them. Oh, no, that's not happening. Right? I'm about to say. She wanted you to do that. Duh. Now get separated. Great. She bleeding too. Separated and bleeding. Not good signs. Again, story with everybody else featured in with their own visit.
40 minutes. Okay, hold up. Type out. We don't have 40 minutes. What? <laughs> Exactly. We don't need anything happening to you. I have bad feelings about this. You can tell not only Vito, maybe a little bit of not a huh fate, but everyone is tired. Aw, oh, damn it. Because who else do you think of at a time like this, baby? You have to think of your partner. It gives you strength. Like she's going to answer. Both of them. They've learned from Nanaha and Fate. Let's be the magical girls of the group and be like, yes, oh my god, let's just make everybody happy and talk it out. You can't talk it out with everybody, honeys. Magical girl, but magical boy. And like, yes, let's be the happy-go-lucky ones and let's just talk it out. It's cute, adorable, I love it. But still, and I get it because they're babies. I mean, could you at least try to put it in words?
Mm, don't don't don't. Mm -mm. You have to. Well, you you about to do that right now, baby. Oh, there's hordes. Oh, my God. <laughs> How long is two hours and 60 minutes episode wise? <laughs> Could I mean, because, okay, once again, just like with Saki, because with Saki, I just found out with the part that I'm in, I have three more episodes left. And with this, I feel like we're on 21 and 22. I feel like it's 24 episodes or even 25. So it might also be three episodes as well. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. This was a lot on the, our plate today it surely was this was a whole meal of just anxiety so much anxiety because it's just uh i get the plan of we want to stay together but at the same time it's like hey it's better if we you know divide and conquer or you know hey we all just get separated due to X, Y, and Z, and so now we're all fighting on our own, and we all have to, you know, eventually meet back up with each other. I don't like the fact that everybody's separate, especially in that last little bit with Vito. That hurt. With the fact that, you know, something that almost killed Nanoha comes back to her, she instantly sees red, and I'm scared that she's not going to survive because that's all Nanaha wants is for everyone to be okay because, you know, our protagonist, baby, she wants to see the good and everything that, you know, she will be all right. And everyone else will be all right. But sometimes it does not work like that. It, it really truly doesn't. Like, you know, just because you are the main character of whatever series doesn't mean everyone else is going to, you know, get hurt. Because if we want to talk about another series she's in that I have seen, that eventually I will be rewatching her season, her character, um, okay, so here, here's like a little bit of spoilers too. Uh, I'm about to say healing good. Hakuto. Pretty cute. Um, of course, she plays Lulu. Lulu? Yeah, Lulu. Not Lala. Lala is my milky baby. Um, of course, her character is a bad guy. I've said that before. Now, she ends up... Because she is an android, she ends up 
realizing her feelings are falling for the girls um especially like emiru when you have the one episode that literally is about emiru and her together it's literally the best episode of hakuto in my opinion um but with her discovering feelings and falling in love with being human even though she is an android that is also her downfall way before she becomes a pretty care and such and so as i've said before it's one of the most like that hug and toe in a nutshell is a dark season with dark moments but anything with her specifically is extremely emotional and such i mean like i said if you know about hana from that series and her situation especially her bullying and then her relationship with the main guy in that show um it does take a twist for a turn um uh for the deep end and it gets really dark really fast when you really look at it at the end of the day i mean any season of pretty here has dark moments but like i will say hagato is like the darkest overall when you're looking at things that have happened in that and, and it's truly sad but i also have to applaud because yes her seiyu does a damn good job like I, at the time when I was watching it and I completely forgot that she was in this, I was like, whoever this is, like, oh, she doing good. But because it had been such a very long time since I had watched Nanaha and, like, the complete nutshell, like, yeah. Am I going to remember every freaking Seiyu, like, from childhood that I've watched all the way up till now? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no. It happens. But... It, we're in that exact same situation. Like I said, she wants everyone to come out safe from this. Safe, sound, healthy, protected, and such. But the fact is that everybody is now separated. Um, We're seeing everyone go kind of go down one by one. Tia just got her leg cut. She cannot walk. She cannot run. She's now, like, I would like to say immobilized. She is now stuck where she is. Subaru is about to fight her sister, which is the hardest thing in a nutshell. I mean, just seeing those two at the start and now in the preview seeing that, you know, Ginny has blood on her face, that's not good for me. <laughs> Fate's kids <laughs> are my children. Um, they're currently fighting what's her face and who knows how that's going to go. And then plus everyone else is also fighting as well. So once again, who knows? How that, oh, excuse me, we'll go in the next freaking episode, but I am scared. I truly am, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you in one second for episode 22. Okay, episode 22, in three, two, one, go. I really wish they didn't separate, and I understand she wanted them to, but still, if you could only just predict what would happen beforehand, and be like, yeah, if we separate, this is what's going to happen, and God, that sucks.
get your going through with it, right? Well, not exactly you, but more the doctor, because, you know, hey, suspicious. Of course, because, you know, he was heard about that. But she can't see through out of it, can she?
like she's really going to answer you. Oh, there's got to be something else regardless of that. That's a lie. He, once again, the doctor is using all of you. All of you are pawns to his big ass scheme. I don't care what you tell me. That's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. Hurting her. Mm. The lowest of the low.
unfair. This is very unfair. This is the worst in the three on one with Tia. Y'all, th these y'all need to stop with that shit. Y'all really need to stop with that. I mean, but ain't that what he wanted, right? Part one of all his brilliant plans, King. Well, I mean... He is a doctor and he is a bad guy. So he's going to do whatever he whatever it takes to see his victory. Of course he was fucking near. Oh, no. Nah. God damn. Everybody's weapons are just getting broken. What is this? Same. 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 Damn it. Broken bullshit. No. This ain't cool.
Don't knock out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do not fall asleep. You have to stop holding back against her. I understand. That's your sister. Oh. So bitter. This is just depression part two, and I don't like this. Also, I love the fact that we're getting all the ALF scenes in these two episodes I'm still. <laughs> Just like my ba my other baby. Both of them should have been in every single episode of this series. Seriously, ALF and Yuno know should have been in every damn episode. Not in bits and pieces of episodes. It's not cool. You can. Once again, comparing it to Hug a Toe Pretty Care. Ma'am, you and Emmy do. Y'all not only lovers in a way, but you're your family. That's all this is when you look at these two. That that is Emmy do and, and Lulu. <laughs> and then the big spoilers at the end, you know. They switch roles. Oh my god. Okay. Dude, that's what we should have used in the beginning, I'm just saying. Dang, they, we literally went the whole episode without showing Tia. Oh my god, except that little bit. Okay, so with an hour and 44 minutes left, we're going to see that possibly reach orbit, at least by these next two episodes, because I do have four more episodes left. And I still don't know how I'm going to do this either. Like, because I'm thinking just how I'm doing with Saki. Because Saki, I have three episodes left. Well, with this, like I said, I have four. I don't know if I'm going to put all four together. And then take a break like I'm going to do with Saki. And then start on my next two shows. Um, And such. I'm still thinking about it. I probably won't have the answer until next week. Because I'm still trying to think of what the hell I'm going to do. But... 
like I said, this was depression part two in a nutshell. The previous episode was part one. You know, it's the coming in at a high and saying, like, we got this, but nobody said we got this. I would say that's more of me. But our bad guys came in and they are eating our good guys up. And I don't like that. But of course, we know love will always prevail. Friendship will always prevail. Nanoha will always prevail. I don't like the fact that Fate's weapon once again. God damn it. It's like everybody is getting damaged. Like, oh my God. It's too much. Too much, and we got four episodes left. I can't right now. It's too fucking much. Like I said, the the group battles of two on one, three on one, we could have four on one or a gazillion on one veto. Um, even though she is still thriving, even though that girl is bleeding in the in the middle of her damn chest. Um that is truly unfair. I, I really wish we had more characters who could just team up, like the only ones who are currently teaming up is um Keto and Edo. I don't know. Because they're all they're always going to be together regardless because they are a team and fate has designed them that way. But I do hate the fact that still, even in twenty two, I like one, I thought the barrier would have been taken out very quickly. But because of the fact is, you know, Everyone is scrounging for time and people are all being summoned in different places. It is hard for like every single one to come. Think about it like, okay, think about it like when there is a fire or there's a crime and you know, the police and the ambulances um, and the paramedics all have to get there where in a timely manner when they can get there. You, you have to... Keep everything sane before the the authorities get there. That's the biggest thing and, and such. This is what this is. Everybody else is just like the main characters or the main people. Like not the, not like the civilians and stuff. Technically they still are. But because they are under a military workforce and such, it is a lot harder for several waves and waves want people to also come in and you know take over and say hey let me help you with this let me help you with that but once again don't like the fact that everybody's separated with only the one group of like our little one pair that is technically together going against characters and such and you know <sighs> turning deadly but hopefully by episodes 23 and 24 that bond i mean that barrier is broken um to the point that Tia, oh, Tia, God, I, I keep forgetting because she got hurt. She probably can't even get, she can't get up. That's the thing. So who knows? But I need, big, big thing, stupid. I need her not to hesitate. I understand that that's your sister. That's your family. That's your only living relative, despite your stepdad. But one who was related to you by blood. She's the only one left in the, uh, between these two. And I get it. She does not want to beat the crap out of her sister. She doesn't want to harm her sister and such. But your sister is not your sister right now. She is your sister, but she's still also the enemy under their influence. You can't hesitate. You have to take her out. I'm not saying end her. I'm not saying do that. I'm saying do it in a in a situation where you can just knock her out, have her be cold, sleeping for a good couple of hours up until this battle is over, 
and then try to reverse the effects that the enemy placed on her. I understand because of the fact that she does not want anything to happen to her sister because once again, yes, it's the only living relative that she has left. And I think if she loses her, she has nothing. So I'm just hoping. Hmm. Everything goes well next week. <laughs> I want everything to go freaking well. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes 21 and 22 of Magical Girl Lyrical Nana Hush Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 23 and 24. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.